Hello, this will be the first time I'll be adding a um, voiceover to my videos. So I used a color palette that I got off of Google. I struggled a little bit with the color palettes. Um, ignore the diamond bit. So I start sketching. I was referencing that photo. I also got it off of Google, but if needed, I can add credit or a link or something. Um, I was inspired to make like a council for elves and the, the these elves, they are like a... Um, a species of desert elf that I'm actually working on, um, a storyline for them. So, um, I sketch for a really long time here, but, um, I like my sketches to be clean and that's what helps me draw. <laughs> Um, if you hear background noises, I don't actually have a mic. I'm recording from my iPad, so that's unfortunate. Okay, here we start on line art. Um, I kind of struggled on the line art, especially with uh, anatomy and making sure everything was clean. Um, you can see here that I really struggled with the hands as well. I have no idea what I was doing for that hand. It just did not look good. I do end up going back and fixing a lot of things like anatomy. You can see that um, on the red elf. I was actually really proud of that um, elf's hand, the purple elf. Although she doesn't end up purple. I'm just using their color sketch ideas. They have names, but I don't have them memorized. So you'll just have to excuse that. So this piece actually took me like 13 hours. So yeah, the liner I was really trying to pay attention to. So here I had the elf ears. I wasn't sure whether I should add ears or not, because originally this wasn't even like a piece for the storyline idea. But then I drew them and I was like, time to add a storyline. I also have an Instagram account dedicated to these elves in the story, so I might link that in the description of this video. So I've only been recording for three minutes and I still have another ten to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I quite realized that this would take 13 minutes, but it took 13 hours, so I guess Procreate equated that to 13 minutes. So I hadn't added the horns yet because I still, once again, I didn't know I was doing a storyline. So the elves in my world, some of them have horns. Um, because they're all kind of like a subspecies of elf. So these are the desert elves, and then there's different subspecies of the desert elves. And the desert elves, they're like the kind of tyrants, rulers of their world. So I really struggled with hair as well, because I'm not great at drawing hair. Um, so this was a great opportunity for me to practice drawing hair. So I tried to draw as many different types as I could, and I think that helped. I also really struggled on clothes. I had no inspiration. I'm not a very good, um, I'm not a very inspired person when it comes to clothes. So, like, that's been in for my entire, you know, time of drawing. So, like, I would have drawn clothes on my Navi Butterfly Elden, but I decided, no, she's getting no clothes because I can't draw clothes. But it's fine. She's a different species. So. I like to invent species. It's kind of fun. And worlds as well. So here I started on the clothes for like everybody. 
Uh, I kind of drew this in phases. I'm really proud of this elves clothes. I like her outfit. I think she looks like very like a rich lady, but she's still kind of cool. I mean, she'd be cool if she was rich, but I'm rambling, so. I really didn't know what I was going to do for um, this elf. I tried to do, give her teeth, but I'm not sure why. So here I just had to draw the horns on everybody. Well, not everybody. Only the two elves. I drew the horns on the elves whose species are more, like, feisty. I'm really proud of this person's hair. I love the, like, bound braids style. And then I like how her hair kind of like tucks in. You can't really see it now because I hadn't erased the hair. I do it in, I do, I used, I think I did over 70 layers. So even opening this, Procreate lags a lot when I open the piece. So here I add that elves horns and I like her little jewelry. I had the tattoos. I'm really proud of the tattoos actually. They are not very like high detail, but they look good. I think, at least. They have a symbolism in the world. Um, I'm still working on what the symbolism means, but I have a feeling it's going to be something about, like, balance and authority, because, like, snakes are often considered as, like, destructive, almost, or, like, evil, and flowers are considered, like, beautiful and, like, kind and friendly. I don't know. I really couldn't make up my mind on this elves outfit. <laughs> why I drew her clothes last. I do like her hair though. So here I start drawing the um, stuff they're like sitting on and their props. I added two pots of plants. Here's one. There's the other. I added them because I really liked um, drawing plants. I like plants in general. So like adding knickknacks to some of my pieces. So on another piece that I'm working on right now, I'm gonna add some, maybe some like vines and I have a feeling I'm gonna go overboard. I'm most proud of this elves outfit because it kind of ties in. I'm not proud of the coloring on like a lot of other things. She's my favorite. I love her. She's my child. So for the coloring and kind of shading for all of these elves, I kind of sped through it um, because I was, I, it's like a big piece, so you focus on a lot, so I wasn't trying to do too much detail, but I think I went overboard. That's why it took 13 hours, and we're only 8 minutes in so far, according to my little program thingy. Once again, I'm really sorry if there's background noises. Um, I'm sitting in my closet as I record this, so I tried to block out a lot of the noise, but I'm not sure if it worked. So I'm really proud of um, how I did the shading for the hair. I used two different brushes and, no, I only used one. And the way I, oh, on this elf, I really hate her um, skin color. It doesn't match her hair very well. So I was, I'm really proud of the hair shading um, on all of them, except for the elf I'm doing right now, because it just doesn't look good. <laughs> it looks too plain, in my opinion, compared to the fancy hair of, like, the other three, um, four. I'm really proud of it, and I did it using, like, a couple different layers and, like, um, passes through when I added the detailing. Especially when I added the highlights. I think the highlights look really good. I couldn't do highlights on this elf's hair because she, she already has white hair. So I did her shading in blue, but I don't know how that will go. There. I think it's too blue in my opinion. I toned it down a bit, but I still think it was too much. Oh, so I'm currently working on my other favorite in the video. Because I think she looks like a classy, sassy, rich lady that's just used to being cool. I kind of think she looks like a tiger, so I kind of prefer to her as the tiger elf sometimes, like in my kind of mind. So, um, as you can see, I added gold breastplates on both of them. 
um I have a feeling well not I have a feeling I have an idea where I'm gonna have that be like a traditional outfit for their species the general species not the subspecies because of a goddess in their pantheon yes I'm creating a pantheon I've already drawn one of them and I might publish her little speed paint next I already have it finished <laughs> Um, in her pantheon, she was, she was, like, the warrior goddess, and she was the one that took over their, like, elf world, because, um, as I said before, the desert elf species kind of, like, rules all of the elf species, so they're kind of, like, biome elves, so, like, deserts and forests and ocean elves, so the desert elves are kind of, like, quote-unquote, top of the food chain. They're not really top of the food chain, they just rule, like, um, they preside over everything. So, this one, um, I'm really not proud of her clothes. I think they're too, like, not sophisticated compared to the other ones. But she's also supposed to be kind of like a gladiator. So, yeah. Well, she's not a gladiator. She's kind of like the head of gladiators. Her clothes kind of reflect that, but I have a feeling if she was head of gladiator, oh, um, gold breasted's on three of them then, um, if she was head of gladiator, I feel like she'd have more sophisticated clothes, so I'm currently drawing the last elf, our queen elf, I love all of her jewelry, because jewelry is supposed to be sign of, like, authority, so she's the one with the most jewelry, because gold is a very precious resource to them, and she is the gold elf. She's actually the honey diamond on the label of the color palette, and I gave all of the elves their own special color. So their species, um, those are their species colors. They, other, they also have some other colors that I tie in, like to the species, for symbolism and, you know, stuff like that, but I haven't gotten to like actually creating the species yet. All I know is that some of them will have horns, some of them have a little different color some of them will have different kinds of ears. So here I started shading the props and stuff and coloring them in. I'm really proud of how I did the shading on the wooden parts. You'll see that soon. That part, the little brush that I used to add more lighting and darkness and shadows. I like how that looks. I'm really proud of the first plant, that one. Uh, I like how the leaves kind of look alive almost, and how they kind of match the pot. This second one doesn't look as good. It took too long, too, so I'm kind of angry about that. They just look kind of not... They don't have enough depth to look good like that. So I made sure to give extra attention to the queen's chair because I wanted her to like, like you look at her first. She draws your eye. She kind of stares you down. She doesn't really stare you down. She's not even looking at like the quote unquote camera. I'm not sure. I don't know. She's kind of just gazing off. I just like what her, how her chair looks. So we're reaching the end of the speed paint, and here is our finished piece. Thank you for watching.